Hello and welcome everybody to another InventRight.com TV show. Stephen, as usual, you refuse to tell me what the topic is, so I can show you how on the ball I am with, with, with these topics. I like to keep you guessing, Andrew, because <laughs> I know you know this topic so well, so yeah. I just like to kind of surprise you. Okay, well, you know, we've been doing this for 14 years, so you'd think we know it by now, so, you know, no problem. All right, good. What's the topic, man? Well, I want to talk about the pitfalls of these inventors that want to do everything themselves. Mm. Mm, yeah, know who you're talking about. Some people may not know what you're talking about. Do you want to describe that a little further before you start talking I, about the pitfalls? Well, for, first of all, I think you have to do most of it yourself. Right? I do believe that. And I love yeah. do-it-yourself people. I love that they, yeah. they embrace that. And I see a lot of people all over the country that are do-it-yourselves. And then I think you have to have that attitude. But there is a time when you, you cannot do everything yourself. And sometimes they try to do that and they fail. What does that mean? You need to go out and spend 15000 of the patent attorney, 5000 of the prototype, or that's not what you're talking about, is it? No, but what I'm talking about is, yes, you need to be the expert. You need to do your own research on your product. So you make sure it's uniqueness. You need to do a Google image search. Just make sure you have something that hasn't been done before or use, or find your uniqueness, yes. Or when you write your or, – or doing a prior art search, yes, you can hire another firm to do it for you, which – Maybe that's okay, but you need to learn how to do it yourself. You will spend more time. You will become the expert. So I love that attitude of do it yourself, yes. But let me tell you, there's another area where you shouldn't do it yourself. Yeah, give, give us the profile of this person that wants to do everything themselves and how, how it, why it's not Well, they, they, they think they're like saving them. money. Right. right. We know they're not. Yeah, and they're not. Um, what happens is that when they have the attitude, I'm going to do everything myself, they come up a little short. They fail. And they don't know why, so they, they do it again. And it's this thing that just keeps on continuing. So, Because I, I see it. I go out there and I talk to these inventors at, at these inventors associations, and I, I ask them, how many people have been working on an idea more than six months? I know. You gave a talk recently, and they raised their hand. Well, they, and, oh, what was? they all go up. I go, well, how many people have been working with their ideas over, let's say, a year? All the hands go up. Yeah, something's wrong. Andrew, it's enough that, that you just want to cry because they're doing it wrong. Yeah. They're, they are really, they're, they're, they're doing it the old way. The old way never worked. So, yeah. But let me give you an example of one thing they should never do themselves. Okay, I want to hear it. The most important part is not protecting an idea. Anybody can protect an idea. The most important is selling an idea. No kidding. Okay. So, <laughs> so really understand what that is and understand that there's a couple tools that are so easy to, 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 to use. And one of them is a sell sheet. We talked about a sell sheet. Right. It's like a one-page advertisement. Yeah. It's got the one big benefit at the top and, you know, it's got – Bullet points, pi right pictures. And you don't, you don't even need, in fact, we'll do one just on sell sheets because everybody's wondering about it. But the bottom line is you don't have to build a prototype. I could have a 3D computer generated sample look beautiful. Or, or you know, you could pay a graphic designer to Photoshop an existing product, change it up a little bit. Maybe you go down to Walmart, cannibalize a few things. That's your prototype. Perfect. But to think you need to have this production ready beautiful prototype is not the case. So what are you saying that people think they need too refined of a well, prototype? Well, you know, what they do is that they try to create the sales material themselves. And oh, so, God, that's never good. And so what I see is this thing, and you look at it, and you're going to go, what is this? Well, I designed it myself, and I have a little graphic background. And you look at it, and you're just going to go, Ooh. Well, they are responsible for what are the marketing key points, what are the bullet points, what should the pictures be, but I not know, but, not to actually but, do the graphic design. But good themselves. design, Andrew, you can find a designer on Elance or Fiverr for $50. I, I know. Why would you try to do it yourself? But they do. Shooting themselves in the foot. For $50? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It, it's like the and, most and, important. So these are some, see, these are some of the same people that went out and gave some patent attorney 10000 for a patent. Now they're doing 
their own sell sheet because they want to save 50 bucks. Are you kidding me? They, they got it reversed. Yeah, 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 you're right. They got it reversed. Well, no, not reversed because that would mean that it's okay to spend a bunch of money on a graphic designer, which is not necessary. No, but what I mean, you, you pay for that professional sales material. You do but, that first. Now, you yeah. can... But yeah. you can file your own protect. You don't have to call. Hey, that, hey, I could talk about attorneys and filing patents, so I'm blue in the face, and we're going to do that. But the point is, the whole there's certain things you should do yourself. I believe that, and you're right. Know the marketing copy. Know your potential licensees. Know the companies you're going to call. Know yeah. your product. Do a Google image search. Do a prior art search. Build your prototype if you want to. Be the expert. Yeah. But if you're not a graphic designer. Don't do graphic design. It, Andrew, I cannot tell you how many times I see it that, and it's the most, it's probably one of the most important tools they can have. For, they don't need the protection. They don't need anything else. They don't even need a prototype. But if they have a good sell sheet, they're going to get in the door. Whenever I, whenever I, when our, when our coaches work with people, what they do is they, the student will send something to the coach that's crude, just a bunch of stuff thrown into a sell sheet. Don't worry about the layout. What's the benefit statement? What are the bullet points? What are the key pictures where people are going to get it in six to ten seconds? Those are the key things. Then you give it to graphic designer. So, yeah. but so they do need to do something crude, but that's not going to be. But what Andrew, even more than that, I've seen sell sheets that the inventor didn't realize that they're they're taking so long to describe it. Mm, and I yeah. tell them if it takes you this long, how are they going to do it? Oh yeah, when I see a big old, big old, huge paragraph at the top, I no, no. Or, or what about, about patent pinning at the top, big as can be? That's or what about topic. what about having my logo of my company really big at the top, where no one really cares? Nobody cares about. I, your logo. I, I could go on and on about a good sell sheet, and that's why marketing materials right, knowing your potential licensee, who are they? Go to the website. What colors do they use? All these things that we've been teaching for all this time is so important, but they, they, they missed the boat. Here's one other, one, one other part I want I to close this out. Here's the other thing. If it doesn't work, they need to try something else. If what I mean, keep- if, if what doesn't work? The whole process, if it's taken me a year, two years, five years, 10 years, something's not working. No kidding. So- No, Steve, no, no, you got it all wrong, man. You just move on to the next product and do the same messed up process with the next product and the next product. That's you called giving money to attorneys and that, prototypers. That, it, and what is it? What, is, what do people say? If you keep on doing the same thing and you get the same outcome, it's called in, well, insanity. That's what it's called insanity. Well, you know, it's it's. I th I love what you're saying, Steve, because what what that's what most inventors do. They take their same messed up process that they usually created on their own in their own head. They're not right. getting it from anybody. And then they keep applying it to product after product. Most of it doesn't even involve really getting going and calling companies. Most of them stop there, they, or they're very timid and they call like three or four companies. So they they're not company. understanding the process. Yeah. And and when I was at this group in Kentucky, and what was really amazing, there's one common thing that I I can look around the room and I can make one com one comment about everybody has this one one thing that right, they that? all share. They don't know the process. Yes. Because if they did, they probably wouldn't be there. And number it's, two, they wouldn't be raising their hand that it's taken me a year. So I just I want to talk more about the process. I want to go into some details, but I want to, we, we need to cut this short. But here's the thing. Don't be this do-it-yourself inventor to a point where you fail. There you go. Yeah. For, for a $50 sell sheet, you're not saving yourself anything. You're or even education, educating yourself, finding a mentor, finding a coach. I don't care what it is. You guys, if it's not working, why right. not sit no. back and try to figure it out? There you go. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys enjoyed the, the show, click on the uh, like button, the thumbs up button below. Subscribe to the channel, and we will catch up with you next time on the next InventRight.com TV show. See you, everybody. Bye.